There is one major question hanging around Halo Infinite right now. Because 343 has effectively gone through their content for Season 4. We've had our two seasonal events, we've had our Tenrai event, and all the speculated modes and maps that we're going to be coming in with Season 4 have, well, come into the game. So that leaves us with the big question, what's happening with Season 5 of Halo Infinite? And can 343 maintain the momentum they've picked up this season to keep people happy about playing this game. Because there's certainly been a lot of leaks and rumors going around about what's happening with season five for Halo Infinite. And I wanted to cover that in this video and talk about whether or not how likely they are, if they're credible, because we've heard some wild stuff online while playing this game as my freaking wasp goes insane. What is going on? Oh, I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this spin animation. I can't get out of this. Okay, we gotta get out. We got a double kill from it! <laughs> This is why I do live comms with this kind of stuff, just because there's wild stuff that happens within this game. So can 343 maintain this momentum that they've recently had? Because we have basically a new base level of players playing Halo Infinite, which is fantastic. And I would say that 343 has set themselves up properly to be able to potentially follow up really well with this season four to make season five even better. But they have to do it right. Right as in they got to put in content in the game that people care about and want to play. And the biggest rumor we've heard about season five is that Firefight might be coming into Halo Infinite. And if that's true, that is massive for this game because I love the PV aspect of this game. Oh my God, there's a tank. A little perfect tap, okay. Oh my gosh. How am I alive right now? And I'm sure there's gonna be those people out there in the comments. I do read your comments, guys. Probably saying, oh, year and a half, too late, don't care. Which, I mean, I totally get that, right? But we are where we are right now with Halo Infinite, and it's better to have Firefight in this game than not at all. But the cool thing about Firefight this time around, though, it sounds like it's going to have Forge support. And if that's the case, oh my gosh, dude, the level of content that's coming in with this game is gonna be insane. Because if you give Firefight out to the people, well, I mean, it's it's gonna be just some crazy unique experience that we've never had before in Halo, basically be created in this game. Think of like Infection in Halo 5, right? Where in that game, like it was just, they released Infection and it was cool, but there were so many amazing, unique Infection modes that were created because of Forge was so amazing in Halo 5. And it's even better in Halo Infinite. But of course you can't just like release Firefight and be like, okay, custom game people, do something with it. Cause that's just basically like a kind of, almost gate off firefight to the general public because even though custom games are great i completely agree with that most people just want to play matchmaking they don't want to bother like trying to set up a party with people and like play the game that way they just want to hit matchmaking and have some fun and it looks like they will be getting that with one map for firefight probably for matchmaking and that being the house of reckoning from the campaign being cut up from there Put into matchmaking firefight but if you're gonna get firefight to the people right you have campaign ai available in forge which is something they've been working on basically since the launch of this game and beyond just having cool unique firefight maps that could eventually be added into the game we can see custom pve maps just in general basically almost acting as if they were campaign missions right I've already seen people online making like Sierra 117, the beginning mission from Halo 3, but making it in Halo Infinite in anticipation that campaign AI will be added in the Forge next season. So you could almost have like remastered levels. One thing I'm actually really surprised about when it comes to the season five news is that the lack of leaks when it comes to having the seasonal core. We've seen some temporary leaks involving like the Mark 7 core, like the Master Chief core you see like in Halo Bits campaign. Apparently those are faked. We've seen a lot of speculation about the robot core, which is basically some concept art that was in the Halo Infinite concept art book, which I mean, that's really stretching it in my opinion if we think we're going to get that as the seasonal core. But apparently season five has entered in the certification process as meaning 
we know now that 343 has decided on all the content, everything that's going in with season five for this game. And right now they just need to go through the Xbox certification process so then they can say like, yes, it's okay to update the game on Xbox. And the data miners are always on point when it comes to getting these leaks out as soon as possible. So could season five be the first season we don't get a new seasonal core? I mean, possibly. We don't really seem to be getting any more fracture cores because 343 has decided to make sure that they can flesh out the current list of fracture cores rather than add new ones. So maybe the same thing's happening with seasonal cores, which honestly I would be okay with if they just kind of help fill out the existing list that's already there. Like the Mark 5B and Mark 7 cores fill those out a little bit more, gives more options to uh, people just to earn customization to be able to unlock, which some cores definitely need some love especially the fracture cores. I mean, those fracture core options are so limited. It might as well just be toilet paper at the beginning of COVID. We're talking levels of limited. There we go. And that's a little perfect shot on the head. I'm gonna slice this nerd. Ugh. Are you coming at me with that? No. No, that's not how this works. But we've also seen some information about the season five maps that are coming in with this game next season, which is going to be hopefully something good. And I completely forgot I ran out of ammo. Current rumor is that there might be two 4v4 maps coming into the game, which would definitely be a change of pace. No, 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 not capture the flag. Don't capture the flag. Don't capture. Oh my God, they're running with it. Hang on. We got to talk about those maps, but in a quick second, because I can't let this happen. Not under my watch. Oh my God, maybe under my watch. Enemy captured the flag. Okay, maybe under my watch. But yeah, the season five maps, there's two maps as expected, which is what we've been usually getting for a new season. One of them being a 4v4 map that kind of has like a bit of a covenant feel to it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice little slice, by the way. But there's an interesting map called Forbidden, which I've seen interesting leaks about it, saying it could be a BTV map, it could be a 4v4 map, it could be an 8v8 map even. My team just left me hanging, see what I did there. Which if that's the case, we're getting two 4v4 maps. That's really surprising because BTP definitely needs its maps. But we're also getting two Forge canvases as well, a kind of an Arctic winter themed one, as well as a desert themed one, which for all you Forgers out there, that's amazing. I am a level zero noob when it comes to anything Forge related. So I just kind of let the experts do what they do and I just have fun with the game. From all the leaks and rumors I've seen about season five, it's looking to be pretty good, honestly. But then I have to ask the question, what is 343 going to do beyond just the seasonal update to keep this game fresh, fun, and active? Because season four was great. We had a lot of great new modes come into the game. A ton of Forge maps came in to bring us new content. They brought back infection and everything in between. So you know that they're actually like, doing things to keep the game alive. Like the life service is actually alive. I want to ask whatever happened to Action Sack because that was planned to happen a long time ago. Apparently 343 wanted to kind of do their own twist on the action sack. At least that's what a former 343 dev said about action sack, but I haven't heard anything about it since he left 343. So uh, I guess it's kind of just up in the air at the moment. Can we get some forge maps for infection because the default maps, they work all, all right for infection. But I just feel that you need to have that forge level of customization that really makes some maps that would really be tailored to the infection experience. I remember at least like when Halo 5 launched, right? That like all the good maps were forge maps. And if you're gonna get two 4v4 maps, um, what about BTB? A 343 dev talk about the community playlist coming into the game, which would be amazing for big team battle. We got a little taste of that with squad battles. What about bringing back Last Spartan standing in a unique way? We do know that 343 said that it, we're not done with Last Spartan standing. Don't you dare touch my flag. If we had like last Spartan standing doubles, oh, okay, then we're off to the races. I think that would be amazing. But let me know in the comments what mode you guys would like to see come back into Halo. Since we're getting towards the end of the video, though, you guys would be the real ones who would be commenting, not these people who just leave comments as soon as the video goes live, just so they can get a comment in, which amazing, by the way, because on YouTube, engagement is engagement and it's always appreciated. But we know that the real ones stick to the end, right? Put a hashtag real ones and then the comment of what mode you'd like to see come back in Halo. And I would love to see the comments on that. But you know, as soon as we get some actual information about season five for Halo Infinite, I'll be covering it here on the channel. Give me your good old classic details as you all require so desperately.